I could be drunk. <laughs> I'm not. Hi, welcome back to Ray's Little Shed Shop. Today I am on location at my mum's place. Lovely lady, not very well, but a fantastic crafter and she just needs some extra space. Shelving. I mean, if you took a look around in here, you would understand she needs shelves. They're everywhere, not just this one. So, we're gonna stick some on the wall. Now, just a simple shelf, two brackets already attached to a piece of wood. This actually used to be an old wardrobe door. Uh, I cut it down in a video when we made the roller stand. Yes. Yeah, yeah which is why we made it. Go check that out. So we pop my nose up on the wall. I'm gonna show you a number of different ways to do it. Now I have four shelves. At the moment, I think we're only putting up three. But first of all, we've got to clear the area so it's safe to be able to get to it. Back in a mo. We've cleared this area so we now have full access to the wall. We can take one of these nice little makeshift shelves. They are very strong, but I don't know how strong this wall's gonna be. And it's gonna be wanting to be around here. We know this because we've already worked out where they're gonna go, sort of. Pencil. They're made a mark. This is where we know the end is gonna be, roughly. So the traditional way of putting a shelf up is you get your level and you mark a line along that wall, making sure it's got its bubble in the center. Boop. Don't about your lines later. Oh God, this wallpaper is awful. Ugh. So with that line marked up, you get your shelf, pop it on that mark. Pencil. F one Shelf template. Exactly. As Mrs S says, a shelf template. Now, I don't know what this wall is made of. It sounds pretty solid. Ow. But I do know there is a bathroom on the other side of this wall. There shouldn't be anything running between these and I'm only going that deep. So I'm gonna check the other side to make sure there's nothing in there. Sounds fucking hollow. I think we're good to go. No idea what this wall is. It sounds pretty solid from this side. Sounds pretty hollow from the other side. So let's find out. Small drill, just to get a guide hole. Hammer, make some noise. Please don't be coal ash. Balls. How soft is this wall? What the hell is it made of? I don't know, it doesn't mean you can drill holes for the fun night. Well, so far, that's not brick dust. Was that grey? Breeze blocky. I think that's breeze blocky. Certainly got the horrible smell of breeze block. Oof. And that's not hot. Walls are a little bit softer than what I thought they might be. So they're definitely not brick. I think they might be breeze block. So I'm going to go one size smaller on the drill bit needed. So the roll plug definitely doesn't spin. I can always go bigger. So soft. Ooh. Holes drilled, roll plugs in, clearly, breeze block wall. So to get these shelves, they're all the same length, level on the ends. Just use your level, get your bubble in the top middle and then work out how far apart you want them. So, she wants them about 10 ninjas to, apart, right? So, from here, it's probably going to be down around here somewhere, I think. That's going to be our edge. That's level, that's going to keep that in the same plane as this shelf. And measure. 10 ninjas for the height of something. So you're gonna want half an inch, 10 and a half inch, 10 and a half inch, 10 and a half inch. 
Ah, now I can see you better. I'm gonna carry on. Ah, oh, there we go, one, two, three. Same again with that hold in it. <gasps> oh, I managed to do it lightly. I just snapped me fucking lead. Okay, so that's the second way of doing it. Measure to give you a height. Hold up your shelf. And let's drill some more holes. I'm a big advocate of making sure that you get all the dust out of the holes, even if you haven't got the right hoover. You use what's available. <laughs> At least I brought a straight hammer today. First way done traditionally. Second way done, yeah, not so traditional, but it's not a bad way of doing it. If you're in a pinch and you don't really have a level with you and you have one already set up, done. Third way, third way is my favorite way of doing it. It's kind of a nowadays way of doing it. Not an old school roller tape. They are definitely in line with each other, which means the third one is gonna be down here somewhere. Mm -hmm. that. Uh, approximately, or it's wherever you really want to put it. We'll do this my favorite way. Right, so the third shelf we're gonna do at 10 ninjas because there needs to be a little bit more room above the table that's gonna be underneath this shelf. Favorite way of doing it is the digital inclinometer. I know it's just a digital level these days, but I like this. Or is it called a digital freaking angle gauge? That's a lie. It's digital spirit level, right? I'm gonna use this one because I patched it uh, with a piece of practice work that the boy did. Took and I think it's funny when we took out the old door handle. So this one gets the treatment of, I just leave that on there. And then drill me hole through the first one. Roll it. So if that held on there with one screw, you've essentially got one hand with a lot more freedom of movement, you see, because I can come over here and just hold that there. Come along, grab things if I need to. Pencil. Get another doodah. Oh, oh, get me drill. So I can now do that with one hand while this is being held. So the favorite way of course is popping this on there and then you're just moving it until it's level. And it's just quite literally the whole reason for these digital inclinometers, the Mika instrument, the digital angle finder, the digital spirit level, the whole reason is it's there to help you. There. Now I can have it on the B pin, but I don't like it. It does me nothing. And now we just drill back through. I can't get to them, so I'm gonna have to give them a draw on. I can now let that go and drill through these holes. So with that hanging there and we've drilled them holes, it's now just a case of and bash. Let's screw that in. And because obviously it's just the one hand, level, bonza. Oh, tits. It's the reason the beep is turned off. It's so annoying. Well, there you have it. 
three shells put up traditional not quite traditional modern age into a sodding breeze block wall which i really had no idea it was going to be and i'm kind of hoping that not a lot of weight gets put on these because i know my mother and she'll put a lot of weight on them she promised she wouldn't anyway thank you for watching Little Shed shop this has been three different ways to put up shelves hope you've enjoyed like subscribe click for notifications and we'll see you again soon links to everything used in the video is in the description go and have yourself a look thanks for watching